morning everyone. Today is my last day of spring break and the dilemma that I'm falling into is that I've done nothing with my spring break. <laughs> Basically, I've been sick. I got home, had two days to literally be a potato and now, and then I got sick. And these past two days have been spent being a potato. So I'm very upset about it because I had lists of things that I needed to do and wanted to do. I had five videos I wanted to make, I made one. I had crafts I wanted to do. I made zero. Well, I asked to paint last night and you didn't want to I paint didn't peel them. Okay, and also, if you watched my vlogs from this summer, you would also know that I basically had a whole meltdown at the end of summer because I never got proper sleep because there was construction work going on in our house. I was sleeping on the ground in my parents' bathroom. I was sleeping on the ground in my old room, AKA my dad's office now. I was sleeping on a twin sized bed with a mattress about three inches thick, okay? I never got good sleep. And then when there wasn't construction, one of the houses in this suburban neighborhood was getting some construction done to it. So this spring break, I thought I could come home and sleep in, but no, look at what we have going on. Do you hear that? Do you hear the banging? Yeah, that's what I've been woken up with every single morning is this beautiful sound. No, he's gonna try to run outside, but that's not allowed. Hold on, hold on. Step away from the door. Step away from the door, Cooper. Watch what happens when I try to move him. Yep, away, away, away. That's what you get, boy. He's like, what? That is the sweet noise of a suburban neighborhood in the warm weather. Cause you're never not gonna hear construction anymore for some reason. For some reason, if it's warm and you're in a suburban neighborhood, you're gonna be hearing construction to some house happening. It is so frustrating. Anyway, today is my last day at home and I need to cram my entire spring break into one single day, two day. <laughs> Cause I leave tomorrow to go back to school. I don't wanna talk about it. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm okay. Um, that was very scary. Okay, well for now, let's get ready for this day. And let me just give you that sweet sound of what I wake up to every morning here. Along with Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I had a list of things that I wanted to do while I was here for spring break. I wanted to go to three places to eat. I wanted to get boba because we don't have kung fu boba and that didn't happen. I wanted to go to this burger joint that we didn't, I didn't mean to flip you off like that. I wanted to go to this burger joint that we don't have where I go to school. I also wanted to go to the, you, you catch my drift. So hopefully we're gonna go to Clean Juice today. That's the place that I wanted to go to. We don't really have healthy food where I go to school. It's like all fast food. Clean juice is like um nom 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 and healthy. I also needed to go to Target because I went through all my expo markers studying. <laughs> Yesterday I did read outside, so that was something that was on my list. So I don't know if it's gonna be as nice today, but I do want to do that. Hopefully I can go for a walk. We're just kind of cramming it all in one day. So well, why are you leaving tomorrow? Because I have to. I have to get myself ready because I already have emails from my teachers about shit that's due. <laughs> for now we're gonna go to Target. So here we go. What did I say this morning about suburban neighborhoods and when it gets warm? I said the second it gets warm, <laughs> it is covered in construction. I'm getting the door for you. Yes, I am. I'm getting it for you. I'm getting it for you. <laughs> I'm really scared I'm going to run into someone I know here. Why did we stop in this aisle? <laughs> this is the aisle we stop for her to tie her shoe. <laughs> like out of all the ones in the store, <laughs> why are we here? Oh, hello everyone. Uh, we went to Target, didn't get everything we needed, so now we're off to Airy and Ulta. And then we're gonna go to Clean Juice where I can get my yummy sandwich and a juice. I don't know if you can eat there, but you don't really like healthy food, so. I'm hungry. POV, you walk into Sephora not wearing any makeup. This is how the girls look to me, they go. <laughs> can we help you? And I was like, no, you can't. I'm leaving your joint. Okay, so uh, we're back and I'm eating alone because Allie's fat ass couldn't wait until we got home to eat her food. So she ate it in the car. This is the immune one. 
It is. Doesn't look very good based on your <laughs> what is it called? What is it? No, Corn. don't tell me. Turmeric. Yes. Carrots. Orange. <laughs> orange, turmeric, pineapple. Orange, carrot, turmeric, pineapple, and lemon. Am I missing anything? Or well, I have to remember <laughs> in order that I saw on them. Orange, carrot, turmeric, pineapple, and lemon. Wasn't it lime? No, it was lemon. I feel like there's something else. But I'm here. I have to eat my sandwich alone because. No, I'm gonna eat more. Food. Okay, well, <laughs> isn't that fitting? <laughs> I <laughs> You betrayed. Okay, that's not gonna work. Mmm, yum. <laughs> So cute. He doesn't know this, but I'm about to go on a W A L K, and I'm not bringing him. I just, I can't. He stops too much to pee, and it's so annoying. He slows me down, honestly. Hey, guys. Hey, this is Audrey. You guys know her. <laughs> Every other vlog. <laughs> yeah, I'm a regular. Okay, so. I begged and pleaded to stay here another day, but unfortunately, just my luck, just my perfect little luck that I have every time, every time I drive home. It's supposed to snow all day Saturday night, so I will be having to go tomorrow morning so that I don't almost die coming back like I did last time, because that was terrible and horrible, and I'm forever emotionally scarred by that experience. I now have driving anxiety from that, so thank you. Thank you, I-70, for that. <laughs> I ended up not doing everything that I wanted to do, per usual. I think I had a list, like I wanted to paint, and I wanted to read my book, and I wanted to wax my eyebrows, and I was actually supposed to get a massage on this trip. None of that happened. I, none of that happened. That's all just gonna have to happen over the summer, because once I get back, I have to start, I already got an email, like an update in desire to learn from my professor that said, I hope you had a good break. And I was like, I'm sorry, hmm. I'm not sure why you're using the past tense because it's Friday and school doesn't start till Monday. So why are you saying had a good break? You know what I mean? I was like, oh, <laughs> I think you have a typo there, man, because my break is still going. Do not say had a good break. That's okay though. So, Tomorrow, I have to drive home. I have to, I have to do it. I have to face my freaking fears and drive back. And last time I drove back, it was a horrible, horrific mess. And this break was properly nothing that I wanted it to be, but that's okay. So yeah, for now, I'm just gonna finish up packing and then I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for bed. Leave this here, continue packing later and take a shower so we can watch a movie. Okay, also, I went to Ulta, or not Ulta, I did go to Ulta today. I went to Airy today. Okay, and then I got these tank tops that when I showed them out, my dad was like, that looks like that could fit a toddler. And I was like, um, sir, don't be scared. I promise it looks fine. But he was like, he was like, audib he audibly gasped. So I got this one. I know it looks small. Shut up, it fits. He was like, shocked by literally all of these but I thought they were really cute and I like them so <laughs> sorry dad also this I understand it does look very baby color but and then I got these pants and he was like are those in right now like because I was giving my dad you know a haul and he was like those are baby shirts those are way too small for you and I was like and then he was like are these pants in like I just feel like I see a lot of people wearing them and I was like I don't I don't know, Dad. Like you, you know how I struggle with finding good clothes. Like I don't, I don't know what's in, man. Little boy from the '80s, but this is not really little boy from the '80s. This is just little girl named Bella who went to Aerie and thought these pants were comfy. That's what these are. So sorry, Dad. You don't like my shirts, but you're gonna see me wearing them all summer. So <laughs> get used to it. With all due respect. With all due respect, sir. Sorry. So yeah, and then I decided I'm just gonna put all my dirty clothes because I didn't have time. I didn't have time to wash those bad boys. I think I was just gaslighting myself the whole day into thinking that I was gonna not have to go home tomorrow. And here I am having to go back tomorrow. So I'm shoving all of those, all of those into a trash bag so I know to wash them when I get back. And then 
<gasps> don't make me go back to reality seriously like i can't these next couple weeks are gonna be rough guys i got a taste i got a sliver i got a crumble of what summer's gonna be like this week and i know i bitched about it like literally two seconds ago but i just can't wait to have the weight of assignments and clinicals and all that shit on my shoulders i just can't wait it's and when you're not getting paid and when you're studying your bum off and not seeing results it hurts your ego and it hurts your mental health and it hurts your body because you don't have time to go to the gym but you know what i did here i went for so many walks it was amazing for my mental health i did get sick but i i think it was good i think my body needed the rest i've slept like 13 hours the past two nights that's got to be telling I still am glad I got chill because my life is going like a hundred miles an hour at school and I barely have time to do literally anything for myself. So yeah, now I'm going to shower. Jerry Garcia. Jerry. Jerry. It should be called Jerry Garcia. <laughs> it should be called Jerry Garcia. <laughs> and then it could have a picture of Jerry. Ben and Jerry Garcia. Oh, or I was thinking like who's an actor named Jerry? Jerry Maguire. That's, That's not a movie. <laughs> but, um, well, well. Comment your favorite person named Jerry. My teacher's dog is named Jerry and it's really cute and sweet. My butt cheek is named Jerry. <laughs> That's the right one though. <laughs> so is your left one named Ben? <laughs> you don't get to know. Wouldn't you like to know about boy? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know whether boy is that too Bring much back vibe. No, I'm not gonna eat this whole pie. Pie? Honey, I baked a pie. <laughs> Why? Uh, that's like not enough ice cream actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, if you ask me what the most satisfying thing in the world is, let me tell you. It is when you I pick out a movie and my dad closes his iPad and actually watches the movie that I want like that I chose. Cause that means like he likes what I put on. That is the most satisfying feeling. The validation from your father that you picked the, the, a movie that he's interested in. Because I honestly thought he was going to sit on his iPad and like kind of multitask, which he usually does unless he picked the movie. But he watched it. He watched it. Pretty much the whole thing. That's how good of a movie it is. So yeah. But I'm off to bed. I hit the road tomorrow. Don't ask me how I'm feeling about it. Because <laughs> mm, it's not good. And I don't hate what I'm studying, but it's um, so hard. It's not enjoyable sometimes. <laughs> I'm off to bed. Thanks for watching. Bye.